Welcome back to a brand new wipe here on my channel. Uh, in, in today's video you'll see how I played as a solo during wipe day. Recorded on a server, it's called Renegade Rust, Solo Duo Trio. And uh, around this time it had around 250 pop on wipe day. Which for me as a solo is pretty decent pop. So the reason why I'm building next to Harbor is uh, because we got train tunnel access. Uh, it's not really the best place, but I just want to try to use that as my main monument. Because in the recent update, cargo now only... Or cargo goes to every single harbor in the game. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage and try to take on every single cargo that spawns by just going and hopping on it through, uh, through harbor. So my next milestone for this wipe was to get a tier 2 workbench, uh, which meant that I could craft guns. Now during this time I had quite a lot of neighbors uh, around the cliffside, which meant that uh, getting a tier 2 workbench would be the first step in dominating the area. So it became kind of an arm race between me and my neighbors towards you know, whoever first gets a tier 2. What up, la? So what I'm thinking is that uh, we got some huge loot from Harbor, we got lots of fuel, 250 scrap, which means that we're kind of close to getting a tier 2. I also have uh, some old BPs, uh, because uh, I played a couple of wipes ago, and this server wipes monthly blueprints. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get a tier 2, and I'm gonna go on a fat farm run just to get the base up a little bit. I think that's the next step. Wow, we all stacked. That's sick. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about.
first star, let's go. So after acquiring my first gun through the tier 2 workbench, um, it's very important for me to keep on grinding and getting components and other stuff as quick as possible. Because in that way I can keep on crafting guns and uh, getting to crafting you know, gear sets and stuff, which would help me keep on pushing my progress in this way. I totally forgot about the fact that literally melee crates are insane on the server, or they can be insane if you're really lucky. So after acquiring lots of loot, components and stuff, I think it was time to expand from my 2 by 2 into a little bit of a bigger base in order to protect my loot better.
What the shit? What the fish? Bro. I mean, they literally gave me a tier 3 workbench. I mean, like, wh what? So after acquiring a tier 3 workbench, I was able to craft up MP5, which would be very useful for the first cargo that was about to come out. After explaining the base a little bit uh, off camera, I uh, just relaxed for a little bit until I heard a raid going on, and uh, I decided to see if I can counter that, if I can get some explosives. I mean, they didn't have like anything. I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, yeah. It's, um. It's quite an easy calorie, I'm not gonna lie.
During this time, the pop was around below 100, uh, since it was like 3 a.m., like 4 a.m. So I decided to do some late night farming and then perhaps end wipe day with, uh, you know, doing a raid. It's freaking 4 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday and I'm farming. And I formed up about 22k sulfur. So uh, while I was farming, uh, I actually found this tugboat uh, that I thought seemed interesting. And uh, because I already have some C4 that I got from Cargo previously, I decided to see if you know I could gain some profit or some good stuff from raiding it. There's a box. I mean, it's only a C4, right? Let's go. Show me the loot, baby. <sighs> yes, let's go. That's profit. That's profit. And yeah, that was my wipe there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.